my name is Katie. I go by Katie Cosplays. I am a veteran cosplayer. <laughs> Another way to say old. <laughs> Hi, Miss Katie. It's good to see you. I actually was at Momocon when you were there, but she you had a, a little little issue that you had to leave early. I'm like, dang, I didn't even get a uh. picture. You, you, I, I think you were in the Sailor Moon, correct? I, I, at Momocon, I was possibly wearing this. Wait, Memicon 2022? Right. Yeah, I wore Sailor Pluto, and then my other costume was a store-bought Demon Slayer costume. So. Right, I saw, yeah, okay, you were, and she had the, you had the, oh, wow, yeah. okay, so it's just like, that's what you But were. this costume has a time limit, because eventually, you know, the, the stiletto heels, they, they break you, you know, so. Dang, I almost blew that up. <laughs> that's right, it sure does. <laughs> So it's been a minute since I, I've actually been at AWA. Uh, so how are you feeling? Are you? You know, uh, what I'm mostly hearing is about is the the really really awful badge line. Like that seems to be the primary topic uh, around AWA. So clearly some some work needs to be done. Uh, but you know, I still kind of stand it no matter what because AWA was my first con. So <laughs> I give it a lot of grace. <laughs> I, yeah. I really what year? Wow. Um, I can't even remember. I want to say two. Uh, I was. I know I was with my brother. I'll tell you immediately. Two thousand four for me. I remember it like it was yesterday. <laughs> I, I want to say two. Um. 2002? Right. Okay, okay. That would have been AWA 8, right? Because they used to call them, like, numbers. So mm -hmm. my first one was AWA 10, which was actually AWA in 2004. And then eventually it got to a point that that was, like, that's the, we can't just keep counting up. <laughs> um, what was the – I just said just me. That's, uh, what was the one when uh, uh, Marie Claude was, was here? Oh, God, Marie Claude came one year to AWA. Right. This was – this. What? Okay, sorry, my, I'm trying to talk to my friend. Because <laughs> um, uh, I, I can't, because I didn't know who she was at, at one point. But she was, she was in the Hell Team, the the yellow uh, outfit. Oh yeah, the Saris. Oh gosh, do you know Lindsay? <laughs> oh, that was AWA. Oh, okay, that would have been like. Yeah, if we, okay, if it was when we all were hanging out, was it when we took that photo together? Okay, that, I believe, if I remember correctly, that was like 2012, 11? Yeah, maybe, that would have been turn to two. Earlier? Okay, maybe. I mean, well, I became, it couldn't have been earlier than 2010, uh, or, because that's when I moved to Atlanta, and it couldn't have been, I don't believe it was before 2011. Yeah. Look it up. <laughs> right, with what internet? Because <laughs> I, I remember the, because uh, Yaya was here. Uh, As a guest. Vic, right, and um, uh, Vic, um, the voice of uh, 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 Edward Elwood. Yeah, yeah. So they were, they were here. I remember. No last name needed. So, oh man, um, I, I want to say that was possibly, no, it wasn't the last time, but I want it was, I think it was before that time. Okay. That was the last time you were here. No. But I might have to say, my, my, um, I wasn't married. Well, my wife, to be, uh -huh. was with me when when Marie was there. So that was definitely before. So that's right. That's funny. <laughs> that's funny. It was, that's cool. before, it was before 2000. Okay, got it. Okay. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was like, that was just one you remember. Right. Oh, wait. Was, sorry, were you saying you remember meeting me in the costume? But no, no, sorry, that was my book on it. I'm combining stories. Right. Fret not. It's like, I'm glad you're here. Um, and just in case for, for a disclaimer for like, you're, you're not sounding your, your normal. Yes, self. this is not my actual voice. I. Um, I sound real, real scraggly, so maybe I need to lower, I need to lower my register so I stop squeaking. Um, so, uh, my friend and I were dressed as Lloyd and Yor, and so we sang Love is an Open Door, which makes perfect sense because in that song, like, two people agree to get engaged and married, like, within the span of a song, and so we were like, could there be a more perfect, uh, song for, you know, Lloyd and Yor from Spy X Family? 
So I could I could like play a tiny clip of it into the microphone so that everyone can see how I mean a tiny clip so everyone can see what I actually sound like. Hold on. <laughs> let's do let's do this. Oh, it was frozen? No. Oh, <laughs> oh, Spy X Family. <laughs> yes, Spy X Family is, I've been telling everyone, it is the anime of the season. All right, here we go. Let's see this. Okay, we're going to step a little bit. Yeah, that's good. Oh, sorry, it's the next video. I'm going I'm to do this. I'm Now I'm, de I'm determined it's, it's going to happen. Here it is. Okay. Our chocolate fondue. <laughs> I can't even begin to sing now. <laughs> So yeah, there you go. Oh man, I, that was a good caption. I I saw I saw the pictures that you posted. Oh yeah. yeah. No, and I recognized the wig. I, mean, I didn't know about the the plain clothes. So yeah, I yeah. So yeah. So definitely, it's on the watch list, and it's on. Mm -hmm. It's on Hulu. Yeah, yeah. and Crunchyroll, probably for probably. But yeah, I watched it on Hulu. Okay. So I'm, I'm currently trying to binge watch. Uh, oh okay okay. But uh, needless to say, so um, what do you expect from uh, a new person that's coming out of anime? Oh, okay. Well, um, you can expect that if you wear a costume, you will be amongst uh, your people because uh, I feel like there are more costumes here than, and I was actually just talking to someone on the way over here, there are definitely more costumes here than there were last year. And I think it's partially because you know, last year was AWA was back after the pandemic um, and people might have like finished a costume in, in during the pandemic or during quarantine or maybe they didn't and they kind of came to the con. We were all a little bit more timid, a little bit more like shy about it uh, coming back to the con. And uh, I think it made everyone really inspired like, OK, yeah, we're, it, they're back. Cons are back. Uh, let's let's put our costumes back on. Um, you know, let's let's do this. Let's party. So, uh, and that's just, that's just, I mean, that's me giving my perspective as a cosplayer. I don't, you know, the normal con goer experience, I'm sure you just come to find your people, period. So, like, if you're so, so comfortable or, or amongst your, your peers and it's just like, like, under normal circumstances out there, I'm like, you really get the chance to dress up. <laughs> I, um, I, cause I, I hit you up early, uh, not, not early, um, but when I was getting my, uh, Ginger Game Storm. Yeah. And I was yeah, gonna, I remember. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to wear it here cause I know. You totally could. I, yeah, this is, this I, is I, an yeah. anime con, but it's really all genres. Okay. Cause I, I was a little reluctant in it, but at the same time, it's just like when you're cosplaying and working, it's a little like, like juggling act. And it's mm -hmm. like that first time with the contacts and, and uh, I'm like. So, um, what, uh, what was I going to ask you? Because I was going to ask you about the wig. Like, what do you normally put in there to, to set it? Um, so, uh, almost every cosplayer on this earth will tell you that the styling product for cosplayers has got to be uh, hairspray. Uh, that is the, almost like, if there were an industry standard for cosplayers, it has got to be. And that's because it is not, tr in the end of the day, it's not really formulated for hair. It's formulated for like strange things like mull like not mullets mohawks like like hardcore hairstyles like my friends and I joke that if you ever try to like curl your hair and put got to be on your hair you're just going to end up with like a global like gooey tangly awful mess because it is not meant for s normal hairspray situations it is great for things like extricated plastic which is what a wig is <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Yeah, I, I want to <laughs> um, might have to modify because it, it's so funny. I don't, I don't see a Slender Con, but uh, I sent you the picture. Did you, did you see the picture? I think I posted it with the. I remember the outfit, but I don't remember the picture. Um, it, it basically a uh, 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 casual Friday mm -hmm. uh, at the Xavier Institute, and it was just like him. You know, the, 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 the shorts. Some thought it might have been Quicksilver, but mm -hmm. I'm like. 
she has blue eyes, you know, she has blue eyes. Uh-huh. What are you confusing about? Mm-hmm. So, you know, we'll, we'll. Keep fiddling at it until until no one ever confuses you right. for Quicksilver. Yeah, I, mean, I could wear just like, hey, it's, it's Storm. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But it's all good. It's all good. It's, uh, still, but he, I think this this is is him trying um, trying to basically have some fun. See, what is some of the things that you uh, you enjoy here at AWA? You know. Um, I would say uh, what I love about pretty much lo most local cons is the same, but AWA I feel like is nice and compact, but not so crowded that you're uncomfortable. So I like that we're kind of, you, you, you don't have to wander far to run into people you know. And I am just constantly like, I will start walking and then bump into a friend and start walking and bump into a friend. Whereas I feel like Momocon is, the venue is very sprawling. So you can be walking and walking and walking and walking and like not see anyone you know for a good bit of time, right? I mean, I still love Momocon, um, but there, I don't know, like like the AWA's layout, I think is really conducive to like running into people, which I think is kind of what I'm here for. Like I'm here to put on the costumes mm -hmm. and then run into the friends. <laughs> I don't really do much con stuff. I don't do much, like, I don't do many panels. I The one thing I would love to do, and this is, like, almost now sad at this point, um, because AWA 2004 was my first ever cosplay contest, um, it is my dream to uh, compete one last time in AWA's costume contest and try to win Best in Show. And I feel like probably as soon as I say it out loud, I'm no longer, like, now I'll totally not have any luck with that. Um, but it, it's like a silly, stupid dream where, you know, because it was my first con, like, that's why I really want to do it. It's not even that the cosplay contest is like, oh, they have amazing prizes. Like, nope, it's just, it's a me, it's a me thing. So, that's but it, so every year I'm like, next year I'll do it. Next year I'll do it. And once again, next year I'll do it. <laughs> so, uh, so, I mean, just trying to think, um, so you wouldn't be eligible if you were a guest? No, no, I don't. I do not believe that guests. I, I haven't been a guest at AWA in many, many years, mm -hmm. and I don't believe uh, that they would let a guest compete. I think that people would think that's right, weird. Right, I was just like, who's who's gonna guest? Especially if you were a cosplay guest. Right. <laughs> if you were like, I don't know, like a guest because you were a backup dancer for like an act, like which I was a, a girl I met last night. Like she could probably enter the <laughs> as a guest. She could probably enter the costume competition, but not so much a cosplay guest. That would be quite strange. <laughs> Um, uh, I'm glad that you're here. I, it's so funny, like when I when I saw you, because I, I knew that you're at your lineup, and I'm just like I walked up to you, just like, man, you're like a like a a, a Peter Quill Barbie. <laughs> I was like, forgot how tall you are. <laughs> hey. I appreciate it. <laughs> uh, but oh, I just appreciate you coming through. I uh, just wanted to say hi and and that you're a local and didn't see you at Momocon, but um, uh, for your fans and their like um. Uh, how can they reach out to you and check out the, the, what you have coming down the pipe? Um, you, uh, everyone can follow me if they wish to um, on Instagram at Katie Cosplays. Um, like I'm doing the act uh, is my Instagram handle. Um, I also dabble a little bit in TikTok. I'm not super active on TikTok. People on TikTok really don't care about my cosplay. They only care about my Sailor Moon bathroom and my Harry Potter bathroom. Um, you can follow me on TikTok at Katie Cosplays, A-T-L, A-T-L, of course, for Atlanta. Um, and then I'm also on Twitter as at Katie Cosplays, and I basically don't update Facebook, so don't bother. <laughs>